Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here. Not a lot of movies to uh, look at trailer-wise, but I did find this one called Infinitum. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. Infinitum. And it appears to be kind of a low-budget sci-fi thriller about a woman who's trapped in some sort of experiment where she's living the same day over and over. And... They're hoping that by keeping her in this weird world, she'll be able to start impacting her own reality. And then I guess she does, and then goes after Ian McKellen, who's the evil scientist behind it all. Um, it doesn't look awful, but it does look very low budget. It looks like it's almost all her. And then Ian McKellen's like, as the scientist, but I don't even know if he interacts with her. It's called Infinitum, Subject Unknown. So, I guess? I guess it could be good. But it looks very low-key, and I'm really not sure of the plot. If I had to guess, it's something like Act 1, she wakes up, she escapes, um, you know... You, you follow her through her whole day and then it ends in some, you know, sort of groundhoggy way where she gets run over or killed or falls off a ledge or something. And then she wakes up and she's tied to the same chair again as she was in the beginning of this thing. She wakes up tied to a chair. And then she realizes, wait a minute, how did I get back here? And then she escapes again, goes through the same thing again, and then it happens in a shorter time. And then the second act's about her trying to figure out what's going on. And then she does figure it out and uh, starts to impact her world, but she has to somehow outsmart Ian McKellen by figuring out the magical mystery, whatever it is. And then she does and eventually finds finds the house where he lives within the, I don't know, I guess within the strange world they've set up artificially, I guess. And then the third act, she either escapes or thinks she's escaped. Um, again, it looks very low budget. Uh, yeah, McKellen's good. Always good to see. Uh, the woman is okay. She doesn't say that much. It, it doesn't seem... All that slick. Um, if I'm being honest, it feels like the music seems odd too. It doesn't seem like it's music a movie like this can afford. So, but uh, what is it? Gravitas Pictures? Yeah, Gravitas Ventures. I mean, maybe they can't afford it. Maybe there's some money behind this. Doesn't seem like it, though. I'm suspicious. I mean, it does look like a low-budget thing that could be interesting. I do like movies that play with reality and the character, but it just doesn't seem like enough enough of a draw here other than Ian McKellen. You need to give me a little bit more, a little bit more about the story or plot or who this woman is. I mean, she's the main character. I, I, I know nothing about her other than she's being tortured in this thing, whatever this is, this world, this computer simulation, whatever. I'd like to know her name, at least. You know, something about her. Where's she from? Uh, uh, I assume it's in England. Um, so, yeah, this, this, uh, this trailer's a little light. A little light. I, I would want to know more before I'd commit to my time. Especially just after watching The Tomorrow War. You know, I committed a lot of time to that and I feel like I wasted it. But you don't have to take my word for it. Watch the other video if you haven't already. Um, and speaking of other videos, please check us out on BitChute and Rumble. Today we have a Hollywood hot take and we have a news blast and it should be great. So uh, enjoy the rest of your July 4th weekend. And Joan and I will see you tomorrow.